Hey guys, what's up? Today we are at the beach and we're gonna be catching fish with bait that we find literally inches below our feet. Let's go. I feel like I'm six years old again. Got one. All right guys, here is the bait that I'm talking about. Sandworms. These guys are all over, inches below your feet. Put these things out on a hook when you go surf fishing and you will catch perch, you will catch corbina, you will catch yellowfin croaker. A lot of creatures in the sea eat these guys up. All right, you found one? Yep, it's a, I think it's... Oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice one, look at that. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of fun. All right, we've been here just a couple of minutes and we've got a bunch of them already right here. We can start fishing right now and uh, let's see what we can get. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna create a mop of worms. This is gonna be irresistible to any fish that's out there. Run! Bring him in with the wave. There we go. We got a perch right here. We got a barred surf perch on the sandworms we just dug up. There we go, barred surf perch right here. Now he's a little small, so we're gonna let him go. But these sandworms, they work. All right, it's Ryan's turn. He's on. He got here. There we go, that's a nice perch. Bigger than the one I just caught. Nice job, Ryan. Awesome. All right, we got another one, guys. again a little too small though so we're gonna release this one as well now we didn't get any keepers that day but we sure did the next day check it out fish on there we go Nice Corbina, real nice Corbina. Check it out, guys. Hey guys, here's our first Corbina of the year. I haven't caught one of these in about six months, so it's great to catch this. Got a fish on. Looks pretty decent. What do we got here? Ooh, it's another Corbina. Check that out, another Corbina. Two for the day. All right, here's that other Corbina we just caught. I was ready to call it a day. Heading back to the car and I thought, you know, let me just throw in a, a couple more casts and see what happens. And we caught our second one. And actually this one's a little bigger than the first one. So great day today. Two Corbina, fantastic. So really looking forward to bringing these guys home and making something tasty for you guys. Hey guys, what an amazing day we had at the beach today. Beautiful weather, couldn't ask for better conditions. Sunny, just a slight breeze, perfect temperatures. Those sandworms that my boys and I collected at the beach yesterday really did the trick. We caught some perch, a little bit too small to keep, but we caught these two Corbina, which I've been dying to catch all year. I haven't caught a Corbina in several months. So I'm a happy man right now. Uh, these are going to be so delicious. Let's get to playing. We'll start at the top of the fish and use long strokes all the way down the fish. We want the tip of the knife to run against the bone so we don't miss any meat. Leave that first side on for now so we have the added benefit of height when we fillet the other side. That's one fillet off. There's the second. Next thing is to take off the skin. I'm gonna cut off a little piece near the tail and set that aside. And then I'm gonna hold that piece of skin with the towel so I have a good grip and run the knife through, wiggling the skin and the knife till it's off. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Now 
Now it's time to feel for the pin bones that run halfway up the center of the fillet and cut that section out. And we're good to go. Here are the fillets from both Corbina after a week in the freezer. Time to slice and dice the fish. I've got a jalapeno and fresno pepper. Just gonna open them up and take out the seeds. Then give it a fine dice. I also got one of my favorite herbs, cilantro, that we're gonna chop up. And I've got some onion that, you guessed it, also has to be diced. Now the key ingredient in ceviche, limes. I got four here that I'm gonna slice in half, and it's time to combine everything together in a bowl. The acidity of the lime juice will cook the fish, cook being in quotes. It's not gonna kill any possible parasites. The freezing did that. Stir it all together, and I almost forgot the salt. Stir it again. I'm gonna place that in the fridge for an hour and a half to let the lime juice do its thing to the fish. That's what you want to see. The fish is now changed from translucent to white. Just have a couple more ingredients to add. First is avocado. I'm gonna dice that up. Next is tomato. I'm gonna to remove the seeds and the watery pulp from the tomato, and then dice the rest. together one final time and serve in a martini glass because why not gives it kind of a fancy almost elegant feel oh yeah can't forget the chips you want to know what goes really well with ceviche margaritas okay, first things first let's chop some limes Squeeze that juice into the mixer. Next thing we're gonna do is put our tequila in. One shot glass. Or a little bit more. Next we're gonna put our Grand Marnier, just a splash. And then we're gonna put a squirt in of some simple syrup. Fill that up with ice some lime juice on the rim of the glass. Then we're gonna dip that in salt. Now we're just gonna mix it all up. Go ahead and garnish with a little lime. And there we go. All right, here we go, guys. Here's our Corbina ceviche. I cannot wait to dig in. This looks so good. First, cheers. Before you call child services, Ryan is drinking a non-alcoholic margarita, so we're okay there. At least I think. We'll know soon enough if he starts dancing on the table. All right, let's dig in. Oh my God, that's so good. What do you think? Yeah. It's not too spicy, is it? <laughs> that to happen again yeah if you want to see what happens when you create a dish that's too spicy for your kid check out our spicy perch on crispy rice video i love eating these kind of light and fresh dishes like this nothing screams summer uh, more than a dish like this i like this this is good dad you gave me the wrong one <laughs> So what do you like about the ceviche? I kind of like how it tastes like salsa with some fish in it. So you can, it's like a good meal for dinner, lunch, maybe breakfast. Good point. Not breakfast. 
if you like this video, uh, check out the next couple of videos because I caught my personal best Corbina yesterday. Um, it was a 20 inch Corbina. So keep an eye out for that video. It's gonna be coming soon. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Your support means so much to us. See you on the next one. That's cringy. You think it's cringy? Remember there's music being played at this time too.